Hi everyone, Michael Stringeri here, Senior Horticulturist in the Outdoor Landscapes Division. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of the Christmas tree in the DuPont House Conservatory. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a large tree, it can't fit it all in the frame. Uh, it's a 14 foot Fraser fir. Uh, this tree is grown in Pennsylvania. Uh, we bring the tree in and the first thing we do is we start lighting the tree. This took about one, per one person almost two, day two working days to light. There is over 30 strands of lights meticulously wrapped from top to bottom in this tree. Um, the theme for this year's Christmas is a traditional Longwood Christmas. So what better way to celebrate that than breaking out our old time style German ornaments and using them as the backbone of this tree. Um, most of the tree's ornaments are, are kind of classic style ornaments uh, added with bauble ornaments. One of the first things I do after lighting the tree is I stuff the center of the tree full of ornaments so you can't have any windows into the trunk. If you look deeply into there, you'll see some really large bubble ornaments. Those are kind of just to hide the inside and give the inside of the tree a little shimmer when the lights bounce off of it. On the outside of the tree, we covered it. It's literally dripping in ornaments, which I find so much fun. It looks great. Um, there's tons of different styles of ornaments um, from the carriage there to some birds uh, one of my absolute favorites in a crowd pleaser is the ballerina you see there uh, there's some toy soldiers there's more birds on top of the branches the Christmas house And I thought this year a great idea would be to do accents of gold. We have some gilded eucalyptus hanging all over the tree to pick up the gold color in the ornaments. And then we also use the gold color on the topper. The topper this year is gilded manzanita branches. I use them simply just to keep the shape of the tree and kind of not ruin that nice triangular Christmas tree shape. So I use the branches to kind of mirror that shape and just add a little bit of height to it and add some glitz to the top of the tree. Well, happy holidays to everyone and thanks so much for watching.